The Caribbean has produced some of the most beautiful and most talented women across many areas, including beauty, music, entertainment, fashion, and of course, sports. Over the years, the world has been able to witness Janelle Commission, Wendy Fitzwilliam, Lisa Hanna, Alison Hines, Spice, among others, dominate within their respective fields. Our women track superstars such as Merle Naughty, Pauline Davis Thompson, Shelley and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, Sherika Jackson, Mary Lady Paulino, and Jasmine Camacho Quinn have dominated the sport of track and field in their respective eras. Over the years, the Caribbean women have been able to win multiple medals over various major athletics championships and continue to prove time and time again the reason why they are the ones to beat. With the Caribbean dominating for so long, it was quite fun to do a top 10 countdown of the best individual performances by our female track and field athletes. Let's go! Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our future videos. Number 10. Puerto Rico's Jasmine Camacho Quinn strikes Olympic sprint hurdles gold in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Runners are up, they are out clean, over the first barrier, barrier, Quinn and Henderson. Harrison and Quinn, Quinn pulling away, Harrison fading on the outside, Tapper is there, Camacho Quinn completes a dream season. 12.36, does the time matter to her? No, she is golden as she comes through and wins the gold medal for Puerto Rico. Camacho Quinn first made her debut on the Olympic scene at the 2016 Rio Olympics after clattering the barriers in the latter part of her semi-final of the 100 meters hurdles and not advancing to the final. After the performance, Camacho Quinn returned to the University of Kentucky where she continued her collegiate career by competing in the NCAA system. Though running consistently over the years, her best season came in the 2021 Tokyo Olympic year. She began her season quite consistently and fans began to take notice of her running world-class times in the event. Camacho Quinn entered the Tokyo Olympic in July undefeated and was determined to make history as no Caribbean woman had won the Olympic title in the 100 meters hurdles before. She looked flawless throughout the rounds, especially in her semi-final, coasting to an Olympic record of 12.26 seconds, just erasing the 12.35 seconds done by Australia's Sally Pearson at the 2012 London Olympics. In the final, Jasmine Camacho Quinn was able to run a perfect race and cross the line in 12.37 seconds to become the first Caribbean woman to win the event at the Olympics, while her former University of Kentucky teammate Kendra Harrison of the United States was second and Jamaica's Megan Tapper was third to make it a Caribbean gold and bronze. Number 9. Jamaica's Trisha K. Smith wins triple jump gold at the 2005 Helsinki World Championships. 40 cm dal limite ultimo. Potenzialità enorme per questa atleta estremamente potente. Buona l'asse di battuta stavolta e più 15. Più 15. Si va oltre al muro del salto triplo. Aggiunge... Smith had been quite consistent in her career and finished in the worst spot possible, fourth in the triple jump at the 2004 Athens Olympics. After being unable to attain a medal at those games, she quickly shifted her attention to the 2005 Helsinki World Championships and was determined to snatch a medal. Smith won most of her competitions heading into the World Championships, which put her in contention for a medal. In the final of the triple jump, Smith was able to leap a world-leading mark of 15.11 meters to take the win and become the first Caribbean woman to win the event at the World Championships. Number 8. Cuba's Anna Quirot wins 800 meters gold in 1995 in Gothenburg World Championship after many years of trying. Anna Quirot was one of the world's best 400 meters and 800 meters runners from the late 80s to the 90s. Kurot was one of the few women to run sub-50, both in the 400 meters and sub-2 minutes in the 800 meters. Her personal bests over both were 49.61 seconds and 1 minute 54.44 seconds respectively. After taking 800 meters silver and bronze at the 1991 World Championships and Olympics respectively, Kurot was determined to win a gold medal in the 800 meters. At the 1995 Gothenburg World Championships, Kirat was undefeated throughout the rounds, 
which made her the favorite to take the world title. In the final, she was able to run a tactical race and finished in a time of 1 minute 56.11 seconds to become the first Caribbean woman to win the 800 meters at the World Championships. Number 7. Merlene Otte finally wins her gold medal at the 1993 Stuttgart World Championships. Merlin Otti was one of the heroines of track and field since she became the first Caribbean woman to win an Olympic medal when she did so in the 200 meters at the 1980 Moscow Olympics. Despite being consistent over the years, she was earning predominantly bronze medals, which made fans nicknamed her Bronze Queen. At 33 years old, Otti had been frustrated and wanted an individual gold medal. The 1993 Stuttgart World Championships proved to be the meat for her to do so. After narrowly missing gold in the 100m final just days earlier, she went into the 200m final more determined to win gold, although the reigning Olympic champion Gwen Torrance of the United States was in the race. Otti was able to run one of her best races yet, as she led from the start and ran an excellent curve. She looked to be tiring in the latter stages of the race, but she was able to hold off Torrance and won gold in 21.98 seconds, making her the first Caribbean woman to win the event at a World Championships. Number 6. Jamaica's Dion Hemmings beats the American duo of Kim Batten and Tunja Buford Bailey to take gold at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Dion Hemmings made her Olympic debut at the 1992 Barcelona Games in the 400m hurdles where she finished 7th in 55.58 seconds at just 24 years old. Hemmings continued to be consistent at major championships, including placing 6th at the 1993 Stuttgart World Championships and 3rd at the 1995 Gothenburg World Championships. For the 1996 Atlanta Olympic season, Hemmings was planning to create history and become the first Caribbean woman to win an Olympic gold medal. Though most fans thought that her countrywoman Merle Naughty was going to be the one to create history, but this was not the case. After running quite comfortably through the rounds including an Olympic record of 52.99 seconds in her semi-final, she then became the favorite to take Olympic gold. In the final, Hemmings ran quite a tactical race, with the Americans Kim Batten and Tonja Buford Bailey running alongside her. Hemmings did most of her running off the final curve and ran away with the win in a then national and Olympic record of 52.82 seconds to win the race. She became the first Caribbean woman to win an Olympic gold medal and setting the foundation for future Olympic gold medalists. Number 5. Tonique Williams Darling wins World Championship gold in terrible conditions at the 2005 Helsinki World Championships. Williams Darling of the Bahamas was one of the world's best 400 meters runners during the early 2000s. She first created history at the 2004 Athens Olympics, where she was able to maintain her form in the latter part of the 400 meters and won in a time of 49.42 seconds to become the first Caribbean woman to win an Olympic title in the event. The 2005 Helsinki World Championship season saw her going in as the favorite despite being beaten by Jamaican-born American athlete Sanya Richards in Lausanne. Williams Darling looked fantastic throughout the rounds and ran a semi-final time of 49.69 seconds to cement herself as the favorite to win World Championship gold. The final came and it was a rainy night in Helsinki, but the race had to go on. The race was off to an average start, with Williams Darling running down Richards. As they came off the final curve, Richards was in the lead. But Williams Darling was not giving up, as she fought to the finish and crossed the line in 49.55 seconds to become the first Caribbean woman to win a world title in the 400 meters. Number 4. Jamaica's Veronica Campbell strikes 100 meters gold at the 2007 Osaka World Championships. Williams away very well with the third outsider. Now Edwards is ahead of Campbell. All the way around at the moment. Campbell now coming through. There's a 
take on Edwards maybe. It is indeed Campbell on the line, I think Lauren Williams. Veronica was one of the best athletes to be involved in the sport of track and field. From winning titles at the world youth and world junior level, most fans knew that she would have gone on to be excellent as a professional athlete. At the 2007 Osaka World Championships, Campbell was aiming to win gold in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters. But one would think that the gold medal would have come in her preferred event, the 200 meters. However, the 100 meters would prove different. Leading up to the World Championships, she had only lost one race, and that was in Lausanne, but she still entered the championship as the favorite. Campbell took the rounds quite easily and was ready in the final to beat her American rival, Lauren Williams. The final came and the wind had been negative for most of the day. The race was off to a fast start with Williams leading, but Campbell's top end speed was able to take charge and she was able to cross the line in 11.01 seconds. Most officials were unaware of who won the race and it had to be judged by a photo. In the end, Campbell was given the win, making her the first Caribbean woman to win the 100 meters at the World Championships. Number 3. Bahamian Shawnee Miller Weibo defends her Olympic title at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Shawnee Miller Weibo is one of the world's most beloved track and field athletes. Since making her Olympic debut at the 2012 London Olympics, she did not finish her heat of the 400 meters and was determined to make a name for herself in the sport years later. Two years later, at the Sopot World Indoor Championships, she was able to pick up bronze in the 400 meters. A year later, she won silver at the Beijing World Championships in the same event, and in 2016, the Olympic gold. Leading up to the Tokyo Olympics, it was said that Miller Weibo was injured, but she still decided to compete in the 200 meters and 400 meters. In the final of the 200 meters, she finished 8 in 24 seconds and managed to return days later to defend her 400 meters title. After running with a kinesio tape on her left knee, she still led the 400 meters final from start to finish and finished the race strong in a national record of 48.36 seconds, becoming the second woman behind Guadeloupe-born French athlete Marie-José Perec to defend an Olympic 400 meters title as Perec did so at the 1992 Barcelona Olympics and 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Number 2. Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price wins World Championship 100m title number 5 at age 35 at the 2022 Eugene World Championships. Watch for Shelly Ann Fraser Price getting out well and she has done. She's bidding for a fifth world title and she's going to do it. Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Elaine Thompson Herra. Five world titles, five over 100 meters. She needed a quick start, she got a quick start, and with it, she takes the glory. Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price has been the world's best 100 meter sprinter since her Beijing Olympic debut in 2008. Her 2022 season over the 100 meters was arguably the best yet, as she was able to run under the 10.70 seconds barrier seven times. Heading into the Eugene World Championship, she was predicted to win her fifth world title in the event as she ran the world's fastest time of 10.67 seconds at the Kip Kino Classic in early May. In the World Championship final, Fraser Price got her usual bullet start and was able to pass her compatriots Elaine thompson Hera and Sharika Jackson. Fraser Price won the race in a new championship record of 10.67 seconds to erase the 10.70 seconds done by America's Marion Jones. This performance by Fraser Price cemented her as the greatest female sprinter of all time. Before we get to number one best individual track and field performances by Caribbean female, if this presentation was of some value to you, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our next video. Thank you. Number one. Jamaica's Elaine thompson Hera surprises the world by defending her Olympic 100 meters title at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. It's a clean start. Shelly Ann Fraser Price got away well, but now Elaine Thompson coming into a running. But look at Price. They're side by side. They're neck and neck. Two icons, two stars. But it's Elaine thompson Hera oh. who successfully defends 
her Olympic title. And look at the time, a new Olympic record. The world first took notice of Jamaica's Elaine Thompson Hero when she placed second in a historic 200 meters at the 2015 Beijing World Championships behind Daphne Skippers. A year later at the Rio Olympics, she was able to win both the 100 meters and 200 meters. However, she was unable to perform at major championships after winning the Olympic sprint double as she placed fifth and fourth respectively in the 100 meters at both London and Doha World Championships. Leading up to the Tokyo Olympics, as she placed third in the 100 meters and 200 meters at the Jamaican Olympic trials. However, she was able to beat the favorite Shelley and Fraser Price just weeks before the Olympics. The time came. Thompson Hera's nagging Achilles injury was under control, and she looked quite sharp throughout the rounds. In the final, Thompson Hera sped to an Olympic record of 10.61 seconds to finish ahead of her teammates Shelley and Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson, who took silver and bronze respectively. This performance made Thompson Hera the fourth woman behind the American pair of Wyoming Atias and Gail Devers, along with her compatriot Shelley and Fraser Price, to defend Olympic 100 meters titles. Check out this video on top 5 fastest Caribbean female sprinters in history of all time. The Caribbean women continue to dominate time and time again with new athletes season after season, with the likes of Jamaica's Kemba Nelson, Tia Clayton, Tina Clayton, Brianna Williams, and Brianna Liston. And with Natasha Fox of Trinidad and Tobago, among others, the world should see a new set of world beaters in years to come. Do you agree with our top 10 list of the top 10 best individual track and field performances by Caribbean female athletes? Let us know in the comment section below. Do not forget to also like, subscribe, share our channel with others, and turn on the notification bell for our next video as we cheer on our Caribbean athletes together. This is Jairi Caribbean. Thanks for watching.